Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play uh, The Sims 3 50 Foals Challenge. So, um, starting off this part kind of like normal with Periwinkle giving birth. So we have another girl. What was the last name we used? Magic? Magic or Coco? Uh, okay, Co I think. Okay, Magic was the last one. So the next name I have is Whisper. I think that one's actually kind of, I don't know, kind of different. Okay, so it's 26 for Perry. Whisper. So that means Lazuli is probably going to give birth soon. Also, um, I was posting about it on Twitter earlier, but uh, my game decided to reset itself. <laughs> and so I, I did apologize if, like, I don't think it looks any different for you guys. But for me, like, my screen's just a little smaller because I had to, like, mess with, like, I... For whatever reason turned on like full screen and normally i have it in windowed but i turned on full screen when i was putting my settings back in and then so it's made the screen a little bit smaller for myself again i don't think it's any different for you guys also um <laughs> let me let me pull up the name so um i can give i can give proper credit it was uh brought to my attention by mythical no sorry wrong comment uh carissa santos um that i have not been completing the challenge correctly um and i just okay you can believe me or not believe me and i know that there are going to be people that be like oh my gosh she's lying like probably not going to believe that i genuinely didn't know this um Apparently, I am supposed to... I can't sell a horse until the untra untrained trait has been taught away. But, so what uh, What I do, I will go, like, I'll pull up the website at the very start of a challenge. And then I write all of the rules down into the notebook that you guys always hear me, like, fiddling with. So I'm not always having to, like, pull up the website. And I keep notes on stuff in the notebook on, you know, things I have to do. And so it's just one of those things that... I don't know how I missed this, like, when writing it down, because all I am, I'm literally, I'm looking at what I have written down. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm using a stallion, the pregnant mare must be in the house, but well, we didn't. Um, can sell the, f sell afterwards, but foals will have to be bottle fed. Um, I, and I thought, I'm like, it is ridiculously easy how fast, like, I can have my foals become fast or noisy. So each foal should have a different sire or dam, dom, dam, uh, dame, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I, I either wrote that down wrong or... Your mare's goal is to have 50 foals. Um, you may choose to sell, give away, etc. each foal. Do not give away as a foal. You can age up a foal early, but only if it achieves an additional trait such as fast or noisy. And they have to, they can achieve an additional trait by performing the action many times. That is what I have written down as far as like rules that the full, and um, I, hold on, we're going to look it up. I, I just, <laughs> I'm not trying to call them a liar. I'm just wanting to see for myself. So you guys can look with me. Woo. Okay. Um, so you can use any lifetime reward points. You choose to sell a giveaway as it ages up into adulthood. Do not give away or sell a full. Alternate, you can age up a full early only if it achieves an additional trait. Your sim human can be any age. Your human and others may not choose a job or profession. You may choose any world you wish. Wait, so where does it... Or does it say that they have to have the untrained thing? Like, gone. Use five mares. <laughs> Optional side challenges? You must become a full owner? Not- oh, oh my gosh, that'd be so much money. I guess- okay, so I did not- unless I'm blind, which is also possible. Um, I'm not seeing where it says they have to have the untrained trait gone i don't know okay it was just someone brought it to my attention 
that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be getting rid of the untrained trait that each foal is born with, and I haven't been doing that. However, I could not just, like just now, I could not find it in my notes I've written down or on the official rules page. And again, it's possible I'm blind. Or maybe there's like another set of rules somewhere. Uh, those are the rules I've been using. And it was one of those things that even if it, like the rules did say, because I am how many foals in? I'm sorry, this has been a very boring intro. How many? I can't do math. What is... I don't want to do math. Let's ask Siri that she won't tell us out loud. Um, 26 plus 18. It's got to be in the 40s. 44. I have to have six more folds. I'm that close? Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, because I'm so close to the end of the challenge, I'm not going to... Like, I wasn't going to suddenly, like... I'd get rid of the untrained trait and it was going to be one of those things that if like say I ever decided to retry the challenge in the future I really want to stream at some point um I like the thought of having a schedule though for streaming and I am at the point in my life that I cannot guarantee a schedule um for streaming so like it's just it's not something in the cards at the moment but it's something I would like to do I'm like maybe if I did it in the future like if I was streaming it or whatever then I could get away that I would do away with the untrained trait. I did not see anything on it and I just wanted to address that <laughs> but I I did not see that anywhere. And she's been over here loving on Zuli. Um, I need to lock them out. I'm going to lock them out of here again. Lock for everybody. I'm so... I don't think I've ever had sims that want to play with the sprinklers as much as this family. And I've had gardens with sprinklers in the past, but this is like insane. Oh my goodness. Are you rereading? You can't- I, I don't think it counts to reread something. She has the- this wish over here to- that's fine. Apparently we cannot read that. It's a lot of skill books. <laughs> and I'm- it's looking like we've read almost every book here. Okay, I keep misclicking. Let's, you know what? Why don't you go to the bookstore? Go get yourself some books. Ooh, or you know what? Actually, maybe I'll send her to the library. I never go to the library, but I'll just have her go to the library and read something. Your what upcoming birth? You are not getting pregnant. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let's not eat ground potatoes why don't we I don't know I've just go um you know just love up on on parry what traits do you have playful and agile okay so let's go ahead and have you work on two traits now I feel like I'm like intentionally cheating <laughs> I intentionally cheated with one man 100 kids and I fully admit to that. That <laughs> I wanted to keep that challenge fun and not like frustrating or like wanting to pull my hair out. Um, but I am very cold. Ooh, she's not there yet, so. Oh, I probably, I could have promised that because we'll end up bleeding Whisper eventually. Ble okay, you made it to the library. Okay, just. Go read something. Hopefully it's something that you... <gasps> Come here! <laughs> Hopefully it's something she hasn't read before. What is... Who's your father? Martingale. Who did I click on? Hold on. Was I... No, I was looking at the wrong... Okay. Oh, it's doing that. So it should be Parrot. Rename Dominic. Parrot? Oh. Either she's pregnant or she's just... For whatever reason, I have a... should be... Riffin. She's pregnant or she happens to have the one glitched outerwear on. Cami Riffin. Yeah, what about you? You're good. Okay. Have you read this? You have not. Good. Go read a new book for once. I do feel kind of bad. Because she does read this. It's all... Sh because she's a bookworm, all she does is read. Um, and it's just the same books. Like, I myself do that a lot I kind of get in this like this, I just get in this like mood where I don't want to read anything new I'm just like I 
And I think recently, like within like the last couple of years, every time I try to start a new book, like either only the first book of the series is good or I just don't end up liking the book at all. Um, like there's, and there's, there's this old series. It came out like about 10 years ago, but I really enjoy, um, fairy tale retellings, like, especially when they're like, kind of like twisted. It's like taking a, a fairy tale that, and like just twisting it in a way or reimagining it in a way that makes it so different and just like more interesting. And I really like Alice in Wonderland retellings. And I think I've said that before. Um, I think I've talked about that. I had a, a challenge that I did the, um, oh, what was that challenge called? There was four Sims. No, I don't remember what the challenge was called. I did, it was a couple of years ago, but my one Sim was named Alice, I think. I think? <laughs> no, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure her name was Alice because I just got done reading the first book um, of the Alice in Wonderland series by A.G. Howard. It's just called, like, Splintered or something. Another girl. Um, have I used Luna? Hold on. I'll, I'll continue my thought here in a moment. Luna's the next name. I don't think we've had a Luna. Oh, we have. We have had a Luna. Luna was one of the first ones. Daisy? Hmm. Sunny, Dasher, Blossom, Aurora, Luna, Flame, Moon, Pride, Juniper, Pixie, Summer, Pearls, I'm not seeing a daisy, so we will go with, we're gonna go with that. So, full 19, okay. But, I only ended up reading the first book of that series because I don't like the turn, like, it, it took a turn for, like, the really weird, and I was like, okay, I draw the line and it's too much. Um, but it was, the first book was called Splintered, and it was by A.G. Howard. And why are you, why do you keep, okay, she's following her full, but that's, <laughs> you know, we got, we got Whitney over here. She's just like, come here. <laughs> they just keep running off. Playful genius. Okay. Go nurse. I'm gonna clap. Uh, they're just. I don't know. Their clap, their clap laughs me up. Oh, whisper is fast. So, I, I, also one of my favorite games, and it is a game I've played over on my gaming channel if you want to check it out. It's called Alice Madness Returns, and it takes, again, a kind of a weird, and, and this is more of like a creepy twist on Alice in Wonderland. Um, there was the first game, they're both made by American McGee. Um, the first game I have not personally played because it is an older style game and I'm not a fan of the graphics but the second game um, Alice Madness Returns again I've played on my channel and they're actually in the process of coming out with a third game which is supposed to be a prequel called Alice Asylum but I really like that story like again it, and I like the creepy weirdness would you stop running away <laughs> please stop running away did you eat yes okay um so I just, I really like creepy Alice retellings, but I, there was, um, one story, like there was a series that I started and it was, uh, what was the first one called? The Looking Glass Wars is what the first one is called. And basically like Alice, like Wonderland is in, like, they actually make all of the like inventions that are like brought forward into like our world. Why aren't you eating? Oh, it went bad. Oh no. Um, so, like, if someone in Wonderland came up with, like, the umbrella, they would, like, throw it through this portal, basically, and it would, like, the design for it would, like, show up in someone's head, and they'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make this thing called an umbrella, and, like, Alice is set to be queen, and she's got something called, like, imagination, like, white imagination, so, like, she can, she's just very imaginative, very creative, and, like, it's, the first book was pretty good. Then I got this, I ordered the second book and the third book at the same time. And I got like maybe a fourth of the way into the second book. I'm like, this is just, like the story just totally dropped off. Um, oh, she found another book. <laughs> oh, why don't you go, ooh, maybe he can go like sell his, well, I don't know. I mean, he's going to be there. 
can go eat here. You can go eat with- no, he'll only do it with Whitney. Can you- can she just visit? Why don't you just go visit? Maybe then I can have you two, like- Well, he already ate, though. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> go eat. Um, anyways. Like, so I started that series this year. I liked the first book, bought the second- like, the second and the third book. Ended up not finishing the series because they just were so- They just, like, strayed so far from the main story. Um, and then now I'm reading a series that's called- it's This Mortal Coil. So, it's like a, an apocalyptic kind of thing. Not dance. I have to turn it off. Apocalyptic sort of thing. This virus has, like, been released and everybody, like, you know, is, like, hiding from it. It's very infectious. It's a, honestly a little borderline gory, which I didn't know when I first started the book. And, like, the first book was really good, but then, like, the second book is kind of dragging, and I just ha I don't have, like, the- I just don't have- I just don't want to read it. And then it's like- but I'm like, I don't want to abandon it, because I know that it's, like, I liked the book. I liked the story and- of the first one. I know that the story can continue to be good in the second one, but it, I don't know. I'm just- what is the point of me talking about this? Why am I rambling on about this? What are we doing? <laughs> why don't you go socialize? You... Why don't you nap? Why don't you nap? Okay. I don't know. I was rambling. I apologize. Oh, don't come home yet. Okay, now <laughs> now you can come home. I just wanted to make sure his stir-crazy mood look goes away. Because that poor man is always on the home lot. He never leaves. He never leaves. I feel bad. His life has got to be so boring. Because <laughs> he doesn't really do much with the horses and... It's kind of gotten to the point with the horses that, like, what what can you do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put another sire, I guess, in the house. Um, okay, so Daisy brought us to 45 foals. So I think we're going to have Perry have, like, the last foal. She had the first, she had the last. So awesome. I'm going to go ahead and go 20, 21. So Perry will have two more kids. Ooh, we're all bad makeup, though. This is an old sim. I think this was from before- I think she was from before I was actually, like, recording. I think. Possibly. Why do the toes stretch up like that? Like, the, the, like the lines between the toes. What are they? Okay, so now I've started just, like, randomizing the horse. Sure, you'll do. And then make sure it's a male. I've already had a bonkers. I don't think we've had a dune. I don't know- what last name so I just put a space because I don't know what house I'm gonna put him in. Hates jumping obedient and quiet. Sure. Well <laughs> that'll work. Then it's gonna get mad at me because there's no last name. There we go. Do that. Okay, so Dune is the name of this horse. So 27 29. Okay, so we have to have just wait, hold on, let me 19 plus 26. It should be 45. Yeah. We're at 45. So Lazuli will have two more foals. And then Perry will have three. So let's go ahead, return to game. Oh, I need to actually place him in the house first. That would help. There you go. Into the lot. <laughs> if it'll, there we go. Let's go back to the game. Oh, Perry. Okay. Where are you going? No, do not- I know you hate jumping, but don't be kicking down my stuff. <laughs> okay, can you please go try for a baby with Dune? Okay, Blair's made it. Or no, not Blair. Um, Castian has made a tome? Maybe- oh my god, where all this money come from? Why do I have- where'd all- maybe I should buy a business. Maybe I should- where, what should we buy though? Can I buy the library? I might be able to buy the life. Can I buy the bookstore? I can become a partner. I want to buy it. I want to own it. Can I own? <gasps> we could. Ooh, where's the, where's the horse? Can we purchase this? Ooh, I don't know what else to spend my money on. So maybe we should start purchasing that stuff. Can we? I can become a partner. I think you have to like become a partner and then you can buy stuff. I never buy businesses, so I don't know. I don't do that because I normally don't have the kind of money for that. All right. All of our little chipmunks and squirrels. Is there another squirrel? Is that 
Oh, we have more squirrels. We have more squirrels. Can you please do do this? Please? Please? You know, thinking about the fact that we are so close to being done with this challenge, I never put a poll for like what we should play next. <laughs> Aha, it worked. Okay. Why don't you just nap? Can you wake up? She wants to socialize with him. Go socialize. Do not do anything to my jump, okay? Socialize and we'll try for a baby. Chronic illness has forced Lady Hobble's guardian to give her up and place her in a new home with CJ Singleton. We're glad to have Lady in our home. I'm sure she will fit. Your sims don't get chronic illnesses, though. <laughs> I mean, for the story, maybe, but they don't actually get chronic illnesses. Oh, I don't have testing sheets on. I just don't want him, like, not cooperating. Okay. Into the stall. Is she taller? I think she is. She's a taller horse. I think. If so, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Like there's actually like height differences. It didn't work though. Are they is 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 she taller? <laughs> Maybe not. No. No, I think they're the same height. You just might be a little Smaller boned or something, like not as muscular. Okay. <laughs> Chill out. Try again. Maybe. In you go. Did I do the young? I did. Okay. I couldn't remember if I'd done the young again potion. Because, so, like, really, we probably could have had Lazuli fin or Perry finish up the challenge, though that would have taken longer. Ding ding. Now it worked. Why don't you nap? Okay, so where am I moving him into? Mm -hmm. How many stables are here? Um, open? Hello? Okay, there's two stables. Now, how many horses here are here? Two. Okay. Close this back up. Okay, what about here? It's open. You have all this room and there's just two stables. Okay, how many horses? I just see one. Lightning. Is lightning the only horse here? Possibly. Wait, no, there's two. Dang it! <laughs> okay. I don't like just crowding horses into a lot. That's Roan's house. And I know that he's already got a lot of horses. I'm pretty sure Rosalind's house is full. What about the person who moved into the old house? How many horses are here? One! And I believe there's... There's two! Okay, so we'll move... We'll move Ronan here. So, what is it? The long... Long household? Okay. Sure. We'll do that and then I'll... End the part! Okay. Dune... Long. I mean, not that it really matters. Because <laughs> he doesn't actually have a last name still. There you go. Oh, he's old though. <laughs> okay. I'll go ahead and end this part here though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll probably... This, this should be done before 40 parts. I'm thinking maybe like 36, 37 parts. We'll see how it all works out though. Um, and yeah. I mean, I have my, my gaming channel and my Twitter both linked down in the description below. I... Um, We've been playing Gotham Knights, or we've been attempting to play Gotham Knights over on the gaming channel. Uh, I was ranting about my game not working earlier on Twitter, so you know, if you ever want to catch a rant or something. Um, I do apologize, actually, for the the ranting. Uh, well, I don't know if it was ranting, but um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, just me, like, going off on some tangent earlier about, I don't know, books and stuff. <laughs> I apologize. Um... But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!